Welcome to this Class 101 Diesel Mechanical Multiple Unit in British Rail Blue and Grey livery. This brief introduction will cover start-up, stopping and passenger boarding. A lot of time will be spent in the cab, so climb aboard to get started. When ready, sit in the driver's seat. The main switch is used to activate the control desk. Marker lights are used to inform others around that this train is active. This DMU has four engines across the whole unit, all of which need to be started. The rear of the train must be set up manually for each journey. Head over there now. Red marker lights are used to signify that this is the rear of the operational train. This unit is now ready to go. Head back to the lead cab. Give a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe, then unlock the doors. Boarding is now complete. Set the doors to locked. Use the reverser to set the direction of travel. This train features a gear system similar to cars on the road. To attain higher speeds, the active gear must be increased at the appropriate time. When accelerating and the RPM dial reads in the yellow zone, it is appropriate to change upper gear. The brakes on this train act like a water tap. The higher the setting, the faster the train will stop. Open the valve to select the desired pressure, then close it again to maintain that pressure. Increase the throttle to start moving. Do not apply too much power too quickly. It's important to provide a smooth ride for passengers. Up 
up ahead the maximum permitted speed will increase. As it does, it will be appropriate to increase to the next gear and the train will accelerate further. The process of changing gear has several steps. Reduce the engine RPM by setting the throttle to idle. Engage the new gear, then return to the desired throttle application. Let's try. Observe that the train now has the ability to accelerate to a high speed. When the RPM dial reads in the yellow zone, repeat the gear change process to continue accelerating. Let's stop at the next station. The key aspect is to make a gentle, controlled approach. Stopping a train in the right place is the greatest skill of a train driver. It may take a few attempts to get it right. Depending on the speed of the train, begin braking between one and a half and one mile from the station. Brake control on this train opens a vacuum, releasing pressure holding the brakes off the wheels. To maintain a specific pressure, close this valve by setting the handle to the lapped position. Use the control now to set the brake pressure dial to the indicated value. Aim to be doing no more than 25 miles per hour when the train reaches the platform then come to a stop anywhere alongside. Well done. Practice makes perfect. Give a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe, then unlock the doors. Good work. That is the basics covered. The manual can also be obtained that provides more detail about the full functionality of this train and more.